Well, good morning and happy Wednesday. I'm meteorologist Colleen Melbourne with a look at your forecast. This is the last full week of summer. Fall is right around the corner and some places may start to see some leaves starting to change here fairly soon. Here's a look at the peak times for fall colors. The areas in red will probably be the earliest ones to see those colors change. However, it's been so warm lately, they may actually be delayed just a little bit. But just a reminder, fall is coming soon, but it definitely does not feel that way this morning. Already in the 50s and 60s is what we're starting off to this morning. Morning. Early we were in the upper 60s. Those are actually closer to our daytime highs for this time of the year rather than our overnight lows. So a very unusually warm pattern has settled in for the beginning of September. Winds have been blustery all week. They'll continue to be blustery into the afternoon. Anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour. A few gusts could be stronger, especially along the Lake Michigan shoreline. They'll be calming down into the evening, but because of those high winds, we do have a high swim risk in effect again for areas along the Lake Michigan shoreline. All those areas high highlighted in blue had the greatest chance of seeing some strong rip currents and waves up to six feet. So be careful if you have plans to be out near the water today. And the overall picture that still broad area of high pressure located across the eastern two thirds of the country is still going to meander across the area, keeping us dry and sunny and very warm next couple of days. However, this cold front just off to our west is on its way to our area, arriving late tomorrow night into the day on Friday. So for today, lots of sunshine again. We are going to see some high passing clouds into the afternoon and evening, so we'll call it partly cloudy for a few areas. Still staying dry, though, really not going to expect any rain because of the gusty wind and the lots of sunshine and dry conditions. There is an elevated fire danger risk as well. So keep in mind, kind of is a little bit day to be cautious outdoors. Watching this cold front off to our west, though, Thursday morning, it's going to track its way towards our area. Later into the day on Thursday, could see a few rounds of a couple showers into the evening before the main cold front passes through in the overnight hours into Thursday into Friday morning. Some showers lingering behind that system. So extended day forecast, few more days of summer like temperatures, lots of sunshine, showers and Storms do return late Thursday night into the day on Friday, lingering into Saturday. Cooler, more fall-like weather returns for next week.